Hi my friends, today we model this part which is a small part since it has only 20 grams. The drawing is here and you see dimensions 30 millimeters, 23 millimeters. We start with this end which is this one and we have in uh, attention the axis which is uh, here yes this will be the the axis and the uh, center point will be here we have a interesting dimension here 30 and the radius of 10 point five millimeters. Twenty degrees is the angle. Let's start. New IPT XY plane a sloped rectangle which is somewhere here and it is constrained to uh, go through the center point this dimension is the radius of 10.5 The distance from the center point to this point is 30. We want to have an extension in this direction. And I project geometry the x axis because I want to apply the angle between the projection and the line 20 I don't stop here with the rectangle but I add a distance of uh, the same value as here 10.5 d0 is the parameter you'll see why finish sketch revolve this is the axis and we revolve it symmetrical on 180 degrees yes this is the first volume now I multiply that volume to have three equidistant volumes around the vertical y-axis okay circular pattern this is the object y is the axis I don't want six but three arms okay oh what you have here we want it to cover this center and now I use the drawing to see that we have to create a cylinder here. Uh, by the way, I want you to see the thickness is one and you think to a, a sheet metal part, but we cannot use the sheet metal uh, tools because we don't have uh, many tools 
there. So I decided to use a solid part and you'll see how to do. 23 is the diameter, 5 is the height. I use this plane to create a sketch with a circle. F7 to see inside a circle with this center 23 finished sketch. Now I apply extrude on a not important height. Okay. And we see some uh, irregularities here. So I go back. This is the strategy, my friends. I, I don't make mistake here. Uh, I go here and I change that extension, making it half of uh, the value. We have to prove there are no irregularities or uh, protuberance, protrusions, but we have here a connection between the volumes. Yes. Now I have to apply the dimension of five millimeters between uh, this point and this face. This is why I create a new sketch in the plane XY with uh, a single projection, this line, because we need this point. Finish sketch. I create a plane starting with this and which contains this point, this end. And we have a new plane. Now I create another one at five millimeters up. This is no more interesting. And this is used to apply split, which is the tool. This is the tool for split. What is the option? The option is this one, to cut everything above this plane. Okay. Visibility. Also, to hide this sketch. And we have uh, the uh, main body. Now I must apply the fillets. As you can see there are fillets here and of 10 millimeters and here of 1 millimeter. Let's take a look to the part. You see this is uh, fillet of 10, but we also must apply fillet here, yes? So I go back to the part, I select an edge, this edge, I select fillet of 10 for that edge, and for the another one, another one, and other three, my friends, to have this smooth,
connection between them. Then I apply plus to select this contour and the radius of one. Okay. Good. Now I have the volume, the body. I apply shell. This is shell with uh, one millimeter thickness, the default value. And I don't want to have this lid, this one, this one, this one. I select them uh, succe successively. You see? Okay. This is a sheet metal part. Yes. All over we have one millimeter thickness. Very nice. The material is uh, stainless steel, semi-polished. Good. What next? Next is uh, uh, this hole, which will be multiplied around the, uh, the arms. Let's create this. We prefer to create a sketch with these dimensions, a circle with this position and diameter of three by using extrude from the center to the from the center, this center to the uh, two faces. Okay. The plane is XY again. F7. Circle. Somewhere here. Three millimeters diameter. Distances. This is five, and this is 15. If you uh, take a look here, what I select here? I select a line? No. I select an edge, this edge, which ensure the position from the face to the hole, to the circle here, 15. Fully constrained, finish sketch, extrude, in uh, both directions, through and cut, of course. Okay, the other three are pattern, circular pattern, the last feature and the axis of the tube, not six, but three, be careful with this. That's all my friends, let's see what is the volume to compare with the drawing. Physical, update. I select this. I copy it, close, and double click here. Paste. There is a small, very small difference at the end. 
we use this value which is created here together instead of the former one. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.